This is the Free Motion Quilting Tutorial for Pointy Maze. This design is being sponsored by From Daisy to Paisley, a beginner filler design book available at the Day Style Designs Quilt Shop. Check it out at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Pointy Maze. To quilt this design, you're going to start with a sharp angled spiral. And this is a closed spiral, so you're going to fill all of the space as you go into the spiral, and then you're going to travel stitch your way all the way back out, traveling right on top of that line that you just stitched. You're wanting to make a triangle shape, so that way it looks a lot like pointy paisley. And then once you finish your triangle spiral, you're going to then echo that, pivot and echo around it, just like regular pointy paisley. So here let me show you this again. First I'm going to start with my closed spiral, making that into a triangle shape, and travel stitch into the center, and then travel stitch my way back out, all the way back to that starting point. You want to just take your time with this and be very careful not to stitch off the line. Now I'm going to pivot and echo this triangle as many times as I want, and you can see how much that spiral in the center really stands out, how much it just kind of um, shows off simply because there's so much travel stitching involved. You want to vary the size and shape of your triangles a bit. Here you can see I'm wiggling in a very long skinny spiral in this area and then going around it with some very long skinny triangles. And this is important because fitting these together can be a little tricky but if you take your time, uh, it'll make sense. If you get into a kind of a weird area or an odd area, just fill that area with some straight lines. Keep it consistent with the rest of the design. Here you can see I'm filling just what a weird area is going to look like on this design. It's kind of, you know, you just kind of have to fill it the best way you can. And here I'm just kind of wiggling in a nice big spiral and I'm make, trying to make it really fill that area almost completely. And then all the excess area around it, I'm just simply going to echo and stitch some straight lines through here. And that is going to fill this area, make it look consistent with the rest of the design, and it's not going to stand out as a weird area anymore once you fill in those lines. So it's definitely a design that's going to work best in kind of the open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt. Um, you want to put it maybe around some simple applique shapes, uh, or maybe in the sashing and borders, or some open blocks, or just simply over the surface of your entire quilt. You could just simply stitch it over the whole surface of your quilt, allowing it to cover your quilt with beautiful uh, angle spiral texture. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish pointy maze. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, plus tools and supplies to make this job easier, go to daystyledesigns.com.